Hello, hello. Happy Wednesday, everyone. It's Jess here. So uh, let's see how we want to start. I think we're going to start with creating the backgrounds and then we're going to um, get into the layered stamping. So for the background, I'm going to use this stencil for one of the cards. And then for the other card, we're just going to create a sky. But here's a little overview of the products we'll be using. So this is the Hero Arts um, Layered Orca stamp set. So I have this one already stamped out. It was from um, a recent class. So we're gonna use this in the sample, but I'm gonna show you how the layered stamp works just with purple ink. Um, it's a little fun. Uh, I just didn't happen to have um, the correct grays on hand to create, to rec I didn't have actually the contour color to create this. So I have some purple inks that will, um, I'll show you how it works. And then we might use this for the sample or if we're liking how the purple is looking, we'll use the purple one. And then the, the stamp set comes with coordinating dies that you can grab. And then we're also gonna be using the Barrel Wave layered uh, stamp set. So I'm gonna show you how you can stamp these in layers and create a really fun scene. So for the first card, this is gonna be kind of the focus. And then on the second card, we're gonna have our little orca with the stenciled background. So sweet. I'm loving this. It's like, okay, so let's clear out a little bit of space here, but not too good. So I can't find it later. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to grab my make art station. So we're going to use this stencil first. We'll create, we'll create the background with this one first. And then I'm basically going to be creating a sky for the second card. Did my paper towel go? Okay, wipe that up <laughs> so we don't get any water anywhere. So I uh, die cut an A2 sized uh, stitched rectangle. It's kind of my go-to. And I'm just gonna place the stencil on top. And I think I wanted to go with uh, this one here. I saw a card that, they, um, that Hero Arts posted on Instagram, I believe, and I'm kind of inspired by it. So we're gonna sort of start by um, using it as an inspiration and then we'll see how we can make it a little bit different. So if you're ever kind of in a rut when you're, in, when you're not, you know, you're not really inspired, you're not really sure what you wanna do, go on Instagram, check out Pinterest. Um, even on like our, our website, we try to get samples up, but on the manufacturer's websites, they have samples. Start there, see, go look at a card, figure out what design you like and start with it. And then chances are um, you won't copy it completely. It's called casing, but you probably would start off that as like an inspiration point. And then usually you'll veer off and, and you know, find your own, your own way with the card, but it's totally fine if you want to case a card. So if you like posting your cards, just make sure to tag the person who originally created it. And I'm sure the designer, um, would love, they love when people get inspired by their cards. They're not gonna think you're copying them as long as you tag them and you say, I was inspired by you. Um, definitely, it's a good starting point if you're, you know, you're not quite sure where to start. It's a good place. So I'm gonna place the stencil down, kind of maybe about here. And then I'm gonna hold it in place with the magnets. Oh, I think I did this backwards. Yes. I'm trying to think there. Oh, which way does it go? Let me check my paper. Sorry guys, I'm like, which way does this go? Okay, we won't want that one. We want it to look the other way. That, no. What? Oh, here we go. <laughs> Sorry, guys. There we go. <laughs> 
I'm left-handed and sometimes my when I'm trying to think of something it doesn't always click in my brain but now it makes sense so we're gonna position it this way so that um, it looks like waves <laughs> okay perfect otherwise if we did it the other way then it would not be correct so I want it to about yay high like that Let's see, um, let's see if I see anything. Melissa says, um, were you able to see the new CPU reveal for their new release next week? I have not, but I am going to definitely have to check it out after. So I'm gonna add some um, color. I'm gonna go with tumbled glass. There we go, that's correct. <laughs> I'm glad I noticed before I started. <laughs> So I'm just going to apply the color throughout the bottom of the paper. There's going to be lots of ocean themed scenes coming up um, because I love the sets and I'm kind of dreaming of an island getaway if I'm being honest. Oh, it shifted a little bit. New mini ink set. Melissa says new mini inks. I'm so excited. Ooh, I'm gonna check it out. I need to add some more CP um, Catherine Polar inks to my collection because I find for layering stamps they are just the best. So I'm, I I realized when I was trying to stamp out the orca that um, I have some gaps in my uh, in my collection. So oh, it's moved again. Still getting the hang of this, but it definitely holds things a little bit better than if I was just using my fingers. I'm kind of giving up hope of finding my uh, my little waffle flower media mat so I might have to grab another one um, because I do like that it holds the paper in place because of the silicone but this is also a fun surface. I think we've got all the color we need applied. Looks good. Make sure there's room for our little, so our orca is gonna go probably about there maybe. And then we're gonna add in some details. So I'll wipe this clean. Deanna says, AC fixed, sorry, joined late. Yes, well, thank you so much for coming. Uh, yes, it is finally fixed. <laughs> it was fixed last week and, it, and it's perfect. And, and um, I'm noticing that the new AC unit works a little bit better in my craft room. So that is good news. So I wanted to add some swirly details just in the back. Don't think I'm gonna, I'm just gonna kind of corner it off a little bit, I think. I'm going to use Mermaid Lagoon for that. Yes, I'm so excited the AC is fixed. The only thing now is they're still, um, yesterday they ripped up our driveway because they're replacing the uh, pipes. So we were out of water for a little bit, but nothing crazy, nothing major. See how this is looking. It's my favorite part when we get to reveal. So that's awesome. And then I think I'm gonna go for hmm, maybe I'll go for I'll leave it like that actually. <laughs> I'm like, hmm, what looks better? Because I want to add some fish. I want to add some fish here. And then we want the whale to be here. So we don't want to kind of distract the area too much, but it is a fun little detail. And then I got some blue spots here. So I'm just going to see if I can take any away before we add our sky. Sorry if it's uh, 
shaking the camera. Okay, so we got that. And then um, I'm going to, I'm deciding what I should do first, which will make the least amount of mess. I wanted to go around the edge with Mermaid Lagoon. Hello, Wiley. Hi, hi, welcome. Today we're creating some um, cards featuring some Hero Arts goodies. Sea scenes, ocean scenes, and I'm going to show you how the layered uh, stamps work. We're just creating our first background that's going to go with our Orca card. So I'm just adding in some ink around the edges, and then I'm going to think I'm going to add um, my newest color, prized ribbon which we did also on our card on Sunday as well. I think it's a really nice little detail. Super fun. And it kind of gives the illusion of depth. And then I'm gonna go back over with my Mermaid Lagoon. Uh, Melissa says your haircut looks great. I was so excited to have mine done last week too. It's been eight months. Oh yes, thank you. Um, so I, I had a hair appointment. I finally, it took me I think a month I in advance I booked it. Um, I haven't had a haircut. Uh, I don't think, okay, so I went last year to, to get my, my highlights redone um, when they reopened the salons and I don't think I cut my hair at the time. So when I went this time, it was super, super long. Um, I did cut it, but now I'm, I don't know. I'm kind of having a little bit of regrets that I cut it too short, but it's fine. I can just straighten it if I need to until it gets longer. Um, but I'm just, I, but it had to get cut. It was one of those, you know, like you're like, oh, I liked it when it was longer, but it really did need to trim. Um, but I'm so glad you were able to get your hair done too, Melissa. It's, doesn't it feel so good when you leave the salon and you're like, oh, perfect. We're good for the next little bit. Okay, so now I'm gonna try to add some fish with mermaid mermaid um spice marmalade not mermaid so wipe this up so we don't transfer any color and add some fish like about here see i do like the make station for when you're adding different elements and it's a really cool way to kind of plan out your card So we'll add spice marmalade. I apologize if you hear any construction, but summer means construction <laughs> and nice weather. So I'm just gonna add, so these fish should just kind of sit on top of the blue, I'm hoping. <laughs> they should, but you know, when you're live, things don't often, sometimes they don't work the way they should. We'll try. So I'm just making sure there's enough layers. And let's see, let's hold our breath a little bit. Oh, okay, perfect. So that is our little scene so far. Ooh, sorry if I keep shaking you guys. Clean up a little bit. And I would recommend too, when you're doing a bunch of ink blending, definitely clean up as much as you can between colors. I've made that mistake where I was just like in a rush and I'm like, I'm just gonna go for it and then inevitably some transfer happens. Okay. So we'll clean this up. I do love how easy it is to clean this. Melissa, did you get a haircut or did you get a color? Tell me all about it. I was freaking out about my grays and my, my hairstylist was like, it's not even, I don't even notice it that much. It's just you. And I'm like, I, I guess, but definitely glad that that's done. So that's our stencil there. And then we're gonna need to create, I'm gonna use it as kind of a mask, hopefully, so we can add our little sky. Wally says, I cut my own twice, much regret, but it has been six months, so hoping um, to get a good cut soon. Oh, 
Yeah, that was like my my husband gives his like he basically gives himself a buzz cut, and I'm I'm just like, can you just go to a professional, please? And he just won't. But he wears hats a lot, so it's not the end of the world. But you are so brave. But I know a lot of people over quarantine were just they had to do something. I mean, you 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 can't. Sometimes you have to take matters into your own hands and. Luckily, everyone's home, so no one, you know, <laughs> if it was bad, you don't, you know, you're good. <laughs> but um, it's, it's just nice going to someone and asking them who knows what they're doing, like, um, hey, <laughs> what works best for me? <laughs> so I'm going to use this stencil as a mask because I want to add a sky. So I'm just putting it backwards and I'm going to put it in place. And... For the sky, I'm thinking, which color should I go for the sky? Maybe um, pink and yellow, or yellow and pink. Because for our second card, we're gonna do shaded lilac and sponge sugar. We're gonna mix it up a little bit. Uh, Melissa says, my hubby just buzzes his now, he's cheap. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. I, I just, it made, I was watching him and I was just like, my face, if you could, if you could have seen my face, it would have been hilarious. Uh, but he, I mean, it looked fine. You can't, you know, what, what do I know? But I just would never try to do that to myself. Uh, Melissa says, cut and two colors added red and bright blonde just for fun. I have whites in the front. Feels good to get them thinned out. Yes, totally. Um, and I mean, the other thing too is, Wiley, like, if you have long hair and you cut it, like, who's going to really know if, like, you can put it in a ponytail? But uh, I was so, with my husband, it's like, uh, please don't, <laughs> please do a good job. And luckily he did. He's like, why would I go somewhere and pay for somebody to do this when I can just do it myself? And I'm just like, okay. And my son got a haircut too. His hair was so long. And uh, he finally was fed up with the with the, um, the pool and his hair getting all over the place so he was happy to get a haircut too but I took him to a professional <laughs> so I'm just adding some picked raspberry um let's see what else I'm seeing Jana says I love the make art station I have the bigger one yes I'm loving it it's it's I'm just getting used to it because I I always had um I always used the waffle flower media mat but I like how it allows you to arrange things. Um, let's see what else I'm seeing. Uh, my son that's 18 hasn't cut his hair since COVID last year. I hate it. Now he is saying, oh, um, now he is saying he's gonna do a mullet. Oh my goodness. My husband joked about that and I was like, no, do not do that. And oh, these messages are coming up so fast. Okay, uh, Charlotte says, who makes the holder thing that your brush, um, thing for your brushes, Tim Holtz? Oh, this one, this tool tray is actually made by Tailored Expressions. I think we're trying to get more in the shop. They kind of, we get them and then they sell out right away. So I'm, um, if you go into our shop, I could add the link after the live and you just put um, get notified when it's restocked, then you'll get an email when, when you'll be the first to know when they are restocked. Um, let's see, there's gotta be a better, better way to see these messages. <laughs> Okay, so, um, doo -doo -doo. oh, Melissa's replying to Janice, I have the bigger one. Yes, I grabbed the smaller one, I was just kind of testing it out, and I usually pre-cut all of my um, card bases while I'm creating, if that makes sense, like I won't create on a larger size of paper and then cut it down after, I usually will die cut everything, so I'm always using A2 most of the time. The only downside is when I do if, when I do do slimline cards, which is my second most popular card size that I like to work with, it'll be a little challenging, but for the most part, I definitely do the A2 mostly. What do you guys do? Do you guys like creating with A2 or do you have, um, do you do like five by seven? I don't know what the code is for that, A7. Um, it's fun that everyone has different to decide if I want to do maybe like a purple on the top. Oh, where did the purple brush go? The one advantage of the mic is that I'm not tethered in, in place, but I'm trying to find my purple brush, which is strange.
bear with me while I try to find the purple brush, which is probably literally right in front of my face, but because I used it earlier, I know it's around somewhere. Okay, so I might have to grab a dabber brush. That is so strange. So our emergency <laughs> dabber brush um, or blending tool. Hmm. Okay. Oh, here it is. It fell. It fell off the table. Oh, got worried there for a second. <laughs> and I'm just going to carefully move away this cat hair. Um, let's see if I missed any comments. Wiley says, I just gathered mine on top of the head and cut straight across, created a shake, short, sort of. Um, it has grown enough now to get a good shortcut. Liking your sky colors. Oh, thank you. I like to do the, it looks kind of like a tequila sunrise. <laughs> so I like going that route. Jenna says, I do too. If you do a slim line, it's nice to have extra room. It also contains um, the splatter. That is true. And I like, it's a different um, canvas. So it's fun. It's fun to build up your scene if you're going vertical. Um, so that is, it's definitely good, refreshing for, um, for your creativity. Charlotte says, what do you use to clean your brushes? Um, I just use like a paper towel, but I, um, I honestly don't clean them as much as I maybe should, but I have one for each color family. So, um, I use them, these only for my Tim Holtz oxide inks. Um, and then I'll use all the purples like um, with the same brushes. So this one would be Tumbled Glass and Mermaid Lagoon. And then this one would be, you know, like Chip Sapphire and Prized Ribbon. It is on my list to get like a pastel set as well. Um, or to get a set for my Catherine Polar inks, which I have not really experimented with um, ink blending too much. Um, but because mostly because my brushes are just reserved for my <laughs> my oxide inks because I don't want to mix the formulations. So the good thing is when you have the color families is you don't really have to clean them too often because you're dedicating one to like the purples and you're dedicating one to like blues, for example. Oh. Let's put this. Let me grab. So I'm just blending out. And then if you come across any harsh lines, I just go back in with the next color and then just fade away any of the lines. And I love the orange you get when you mix, when you mix the yellow and the pink, it's fun. And then finally, I'm gonna put this back into place and finish off the yellow. So for this sky, we used shaded lilac, picked raspberry, and squeezed lemonade. Let's put that in place. And then I'm gonna take the yellow. Melissa says, I just ordered the CP blender brushes. I have the tailored ones already. <clears throat> yes. I love the tailored ones because they're colorful. I can't remember, I'm sure they're all very similar. I've not tried the um, CP ones, but I'm sure they're amazing. I think my only comparison for blender brushes is I have uh, the tailored expressions ones and then I have the Ranger um, blender tools and then I have I tried like you know the the dollar store makeup brushes and you know they got the job done but they my favorites by far are the tailored expression brushes I'm glad I invested in them oh and I think I also tried the Gina K ones too and they're great so kind of all very similar and um, definitely make ink blending really fun. So that is our background here for our first card. Um, and then I'm just gonna fix the C, our little C a little bit more. So I'm gonna add tumbled glass back. So that is the awesome part when you're ink blending, it's very forgiving and you can keep building up on the color until you're happy. And my kind of 
not secret, but trick is when you do this splatter, it kind of hides any imperfections. So that's always good. You know, it's handmade. These are handmade items. So sometimes it's not perfect, perfect. No one would really notice um, except for, you know, if you created the card and you wanted it to look a certain way and it didn't, no one else would really know that. So I'm going to add some water. Ooh, Melissa says Cap and Polar has two different. <laughs> I'm going to definitely go um, take a peek. Um, and then Melissa says, love that sky. Thank you. So I'm just splattering some water and you guys know I like to go a little crazy so I'm not too picky with the placement. I just like the, the little extra little details, especially on water scenes. It, it fits really well. So just keep going until, until it feels like it's done. And we're going to put the orca here, so we're not going to see a lot of the detail on this side. And then we're just going to stamp a sentiment. So that's background number one. And then for the second one, we're just creating a sky because our ocean layered stamp is going to be the star of the other card. What time is it? Ooh, 31, okay today you guys I don't think it's shocking we're not um not coloring anything today so it's the first background and then I have the second background here this one no stencil we're just gonna create the sky so I decided on shaded lilac again and the sponge sugar instead of the picked raspberry. So I wanted to show you the different color variations that you can get. With your oxide inks or distress inks. So the wave is probably gonna cover up more than half of the card. So we're not gonna worry about blending the whole thing. sponge sugar oh you know what I'm sorry I just realized it's out of view this over here and then add the sponge sugar looks like cotton candy but I feel like if we're doing it like a blue you know, ocean scene, I like to mix up the sky. Let's get the pink there, blend in, and then we'll add some yellow. And then we'll get to the layered part. Melissa says, gotta go catch on the replay, thanks. Ooh, awesome, Melissa, have a great rest of the day. Thank you so much for spending your lunch hour with us. And then again, I like that you get that orange color when you mix the yellow and the pink. So get a little extra color variation in there. And then you just keep blending the harsh lines away until you're happy. And then I'll add some spun, some shaded lilac on the top. And I think we're good. It's our second little sky scene. Put this in place. And now we can do some layered stamping. Okay, so let me grab a wipe to clean up any areas that are messy okay wipe 
this up. And I'm gonna grab my Misty. So I would definitely recommend a stamping tool when you're doing um, layered stamping. So I have another rectangle here that we're gonna use for the C. This one is just a smooth one, um, cardstock that I use for my alcohol coloring. It's not the Bristol Smooth. Um, I just find that stamping is a little bit, um, not easier, but I like that this is a brighter white, so we're gonna go with that for this one. And I'm just making sure to line up the paper in the right spot. So we have like one um, grid line here and one grid line here, just so that if the paper moves, I know where to put it back to. And we'll grab our stamp set. Judy says, have to run, we'll catch up later, thanks. Oh, thank you so much, Judy, for, for watching. Awesome, I think we have a lot of people on lunch. We have our like lunch crew, which is so awesome. So for this stamp set, what you would do is you would stamp this one first in the lighter blue that you have, and then you would stamp the second one on top of it um, in a darker color. So it's noisy. So I'm just going to put it in place. That. Line it up the best that I can. Because it, you might have to stamp it um, a few times. And I think I'm gonna grab one more magnet just to be safe. Oh, not that close. <laughs> Make sure they're separated enough. Oh, okay, that might be too many magnets for one spot, but I want to make sure this paper is secure. Move our backgrounds out of the way for a sec, and then I'm going to use some random <laughs> inks I have on hand. So I have uh, Catherine Poehler um, Cumberbund and uh, Gumball Tailored Expressions. I thought that they kind of worked well together. going through so many wipes today <laughs> and then we're gonna stamp it down and I'm just gonna kind of sort of perform a little bit of uh, CPR a little bit to make sure I get it evenly I ordered a really fun pressure tool um, so I'm excited for when that arrives so see how awesome the Catherine Puller inks like they're just amazing for layered stamps I could even probably leave it the way it is. Um, but will I? I think I'm gonna leave it. It's actually perfect. <laughs> the first imprint, which is awesome. When I was testing this out earlier, I was using um, a different blue from Tailored Expressions and I had to stamp it a couple of times. So I'm a little bit surprised <laughs> well, let's see if I have another Catherine polar blue that would work I do mm, I'm not sure if it's dark enough I think this one is dark it's a better fit than this one this one is too similar okay so we'll try the darker blue now love that sound of the backing from a stamp set it's like the best <laughs> so we'll take our second layered stamp make sure that it's in the place still that i want it to be and then you just kind of line it up 
with your scene and it usually you can tell like as you're lining it up that it's perfect. And make sure that's in the right spot. I think I want to try out the, the misty corners. But for this size um, misty, just using the grid is working so far. But if I were to use my larger one, I'm not sure if it would be as easy. But uh, me and math, it's not a thing. So that's why I try to do things <laughs> the easiest way. So we're just gonna do the same thing and apply pressure evenly. Sorry if it's out of out of focus a little bit. So I'm just gonna do this one more time just to get a darker image. And we'll do it one more time to see the difference. Like the <laughs> Catherine Puller's one and done. <laughs> Can you tell I kind of love Catherine Puller? <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> but it's totally a game changer with these layered stamps. Okay, perfect. Yay, I love how this has turned out. So that is the bottom of our little ocean scene here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to die cut out the little wave with the coordinating dies but I think so we can do it kind of in one one pass in the Gemini I'm going to see what other images we want to add so I, I know I want to add some um, some clouds, but I think I'm just gonna die cut it. Um, I'm not gonna stamp it, I'm just gonna use the coordinating dies to die cut them. But I'm wondering if we need, I think we might need this little image here. We'll stamp, we'll stamp her just so we have it, and then if we don't end up using it, then we don't use it. It's not a big thing. I'm gonna stamp it here so I can die cut it after, and then I'm gonna take the clouds and kind of use up all the space that I can. Karen says a clean dry erase brush is great for applying pressure. Totally. I am going to um, a card making event in October for um, scrapbook cards in today. And they had um, an add on for the stamping tool. Um, I'm not sure of the brand, but she kind of makes them. She was on Etsy before and she started making them. So they're, you know, ridiculous. They're like really pretty and, um, they're, you know, you can get an easel brush for like 10 bucks on Amazon and this one is a little bit more pricey, but I thought, you know, I'm going to the event. I'm just going to get the pretty little things and um, I'm excited to try it out. But yes, you can totally grab um, an easel eraser from Amazon or anywhere else. Staples. So I'm going to put that in place. Oh, first we got to stamp our little, we got to stamp our little surfer first. Take this off. <laughs> Put this back up here. And then I think I'm going to have to do one more cloud. So I'm going to have Nope. <laughs> All the craft supplies are rebelling. <laughs> see, this is the madness, you guys. I'm glad you can see kind of a glimpse into it. This is how it is behind the scenes, too. It's it's kind of a comedy of errors there and that with balls yeah <laughs> it all started with my mount not wanting to sit in the correct spot and it just spiraled but I like to laugh so it all works <laughs> so we'll put this up here to keep it away from anything and then I'm gonna just use my um, VersaFine onyx black ink Oh, I'm so sorry, you guys. The, the view is not the best. Let's see if I can fix it. Well, I'll fix it after. There's nothing I can do about stamping. So 
what happens when you move your mount and then it won't cooperate with you. So we'll stamp this guy, this gal here. Oh, try that one more time. And one more time. <laughs> So we're not sure 100% if we're gonna use this, but we're gonna have it ready to go in case we decide to. Clean this up a little bit. Okay, so now we can add the coordinating dies. So I'm gonna grab my platform for my Gemini Junior. So I like to just put it in place and I'm going to stick it in place with some memo tape. So hopefully it doesn't shift when I run it through the Gemini. You could also just fussy cut around this too, but because I have the coordinating dies, I will attempt. <laughs> just want to make sure that these edges, these, um, are on the edge so they don't interfere with our stitched rectangle. So just put that in place. So if I go a little generous with the memo tape, I try to keep them and I have them in a little pile beside my Gemini so I can reuse them. And then we're gonna just put the clouds here. And we're gonna get our little surfer. this a little bit so I don't stab myself okay just cutting the little edges off of the coordinating dies with my clippers and put this in place with some memo tape add it here I it as best as I can from this viewpoint okay I'll double check Just double checking before I run it through. Okay, so like that, we'll run it through the die cutting machine. You guys, I'm so excited. I finally got my hands on a foil press and I ordered it yesterday and I'm so excited. And I also grabbed the little Gemini Go, so I'm excited to test that out too. New toys, love it. Okay, so we got our little ocean swell here. Like that. And we have our little clouds here. And then I'm gonna just die cut I'm just gonna kind of put it in a way where I could get, I think we're just gonna do the small one because it fits here. We have our little surfer chick. So I just wanna get three clouds because I like, I like using the um, rules of thirds. Margaret says, new toys are always fun. Yes, I've been eyeing them for a while and I'm on the Spectrum Noir, Spectrum Noir design team. So I finally was able to get them. And, but I've had my Gemini Junior um, for years and I can't imagine um, going back to a manual machine. <laughs> I am spoiled, I will say that. I got into crafting um, after the Misty and after the Gemini, so I'm definitely very lucky. It makes things a little bit, a lot easier. <laughs> oh, got a, um, a rogue magnet here, which I'm going to safely put in my Misty so that uh, I don't lose it. Because I swear I lost a magnet for months and then I ended up finding it on my desk leg. 
one random day when I dropped something and I went underneath and I was like, oh, there it is. So my idea was to put this together like that. And then we can just kind of place the little clouds. And then we have our little surfer chick here. So that's one card. And then we have this one here with our orca that I put somewhere. Um, but first I wanna show you how to do the layered orca with purple ink because that's what I have. <laughs> but there was one that was stamped somewhere. Oh, there it is. It's trying to escape. So we'll decide together if we want to use this one for the card or if we want to use our crazy purple one. So I'm just showing you how it's coming along. Uh, Terry asks, is the go electric? Yes, it is. And it's like tiny and I'm so excited. I think it would be perfect like back when we can go do crops and stuff um, to grab it because it would be good for, um, you know, like tiny little sentiments, like sentiments, words for sure. Or like little, like if you, if you stamped a bunch of cute little critters and stuff, um, <clears throat> it might be really good to travel on the go. They also have, I believe, a manual mini one too, but I have a Heffy Doodle that's manual, that's tiny, so I didn't really need that one as well. Um, so now we're gonna just grab our little, you know what, I think this this size is better. That's why I knocked down all my stickles. <laughs> Can you guys tell the mount is in the wrong place and it's throwing everything off? <laughs> but the show must go on, right? show must go on so for this stamp set you get uh, three different um, layers so you start with uh, this one first and you kind of use in this case they used um, like a darker gray but for us today we're gonna use um, a purple we're gonna use I believe it is called let me check so I don't get it wrong we're gonna use serene and drive in and then we're gonna to top it off with um, some misty morning. So I just kind of want to show you how you do it. We might not use this color combo. We might use the one that came in my class kit, but we will see. Oh, am I doing this? I'm doing this. Here we go. I think I instructed you guys incorrectly. <laughs> or did I put them back wrong? Oh, that's what I did. When I put them away, I didn't put them in the correct spot. Ah, okay, so we got that one. And then we have this one. So you're gonna use the outline first, and then, um, or the, not the outline, but the, you know, the solid image first, and then here's the outline detail. So it outlines the fin and the little eye and the little, um, top area I don't know what that is called um, and the little tail area and then you're gonna add a contour so usually um, it'll be like a lighter gray or in this case in the sample they used actually a lighter blue so maybe we'll do that instead of the gray love that you have so many different options so you just place the first um, solid stamp first I'm going to take my um, Lawn Fawn stamp cleaner to it because I think I spotted a cat hair. I don't know how. I mean, I do know how, but they're never in here, so I don't know how they get everywhere, but they do. And then I find as well when you clean um, stamps with your wipes, sometimes there's some um, residue that gets left. So if that's super not good with layered stamps because then it'll keep that. If you have like little um, debris from the wipes, it'll block, you won't get a clear image. So I'm just gonna double check to make sure that's good. And we're gonna use Serene. Now I wish I had like a, like a lighter purple to do the contour. I might take a peek at my stamps to check. Terry says, excellent. Yes, electric, I'm just so used to it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stamp that in. 
I cannot wait <laughs> to have a pressure tool so excited and I feel so the event that I'm going to I think it's in October and it when we signed up it felt like you know years years away and now it's already August like I don't know how that happened but <laughs> I'm not gonna lie I'm kind of excited I'm kind of gonna whisper but I'm not gonna whisper I'm kind of excited for the schools to reopen please maybe if it's obviously if it's safe that's great I'm not gonna advocate for it not to be safe but it would be so great to have silence for, for a couple hours a day. My son is in camp a few of the weeks, so I cherish those few hours that I have. Love him, love him, but it would be nice to actually get work done and not have to do everything else at once. Yesterday, um, I was working on my computer on the couch and I made a little video I sent to my husband. I was like, this is what it's like when you work from home. And I had my, uh, the camera started on my computer and then it zoomed out and like my cat is cuddled up with me and then my son is in the corner cuddled up with me. And <laughs> that's us on the couch like trying to get, that's me trying to get stuff done. And I'm like, everyone is obsessed with me. <laughs> but love them. They are sweet, but sometimes, you know, you just need a moment. So I'm gonna add the second part of the layered stamp with using drive-in. So you just kind of line it up as best as you can like that. I think that is good. I'm gonna just pull it away from the camera for a second because I wanna double check that it's good. And so that looks good to me. So just like that. And then you just close it on the misty. Make sure that the paper does not move. And then we're gonna add our darker color. <laughs> Sorry for shaking. There's a lot of stamping going on today. So that looks good. Oh, we don't wanna move it. And then I'm gonna go take a peek quickly to see if I have um, even even lighter purple. I don't think I do, but I'll double check. If not, we'll have to do a gray kind of belly area. So we have two other purple options. I think we'll do the sweet 16. We're gonna kind of, we're gonna go rogue a little bit. <laughs> if we're gonna make a purple whale, then we're gonna go, we're gonna make a purple whale. <laughs> but mostly I just wanted to show you guys how this works. And I'm going to go add some more grays to my ink collection. So we're gonna line this up again, or try to anyways. Just trying to get you guys to see it. So you just kind of line it up as best you can like that. So it's just gonna add some details along the belly and then up on the top here. So I'm gonna remove it from this view for a second just to check my work a little bit. And then we're gonna add the lighter color. This could be amazing or it could not be. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's cute. <clears throat> so that's how the layered stamp works. So that's our little whale. Oh, and we're gonna need our Misty for sentiments. So let's clean this up a little bit. What do you guys think? Have you guys used layered stamps before? What are your thoughts on them? 
I think that they're, you guys know that I love coloring, but I think they're so fun to do mass producing. And you know, it's a little bit different than, than coloring. You're kind of using your inks to do all the coloring for you, which is a fun little novelty for me. Okay, let's grab all of our, oh, I think we're gonna take this Look how inky my fingers are, you guys. Love it. it. Means you're having a good time. Deanna says, I have, but mostly flowers. Yes. Flowers are fun, too. Okay, so now I'm going to leave it up to you guys what we should do for our card. Do we want the purple orca, or do we want the classic orca? I'll let you guys decide. And then we're gonna assemble this card in the meantime. If you want the cla if you want the purple one, we'll just die cut it with the coordinating dies, and then we'll leave that there for you guys to. For you guys to see it here, we'll pick one. Move some of these inks out of the way. I'm so excited! I ordered some um, ink storage. So they have a place to live. That's not my desk surface. Okay, so I think I wanna add 3D foam tape to the swell. Grab some foam tape. tell this one is well loved <laughs> so I'll add some 3d Monique says purple so we got to vote for the purple scissors here I'm trying to do this with cords everywhere <laughs> The unglamorous life. <laughs> so I go crazy with the 3D foam tape. You don't have to go this insane. I just want to build them so that they're solid. And then when, if I want to send it in the mail, I don't have to worry about anything drooping. <laughs> I'm, glad I, I'm glad I didn't redo my nails today. <laughs> okay, so we got our ocean swell here perfect oh, down there and then we're gonna add some figure out where we're gonna put our clouds and then we're gonna pick a sentiment together I'm gonna do it like that I think okay so I think the larger cloud should be yeah I'm trying to like revert back to my art class of okay so if there's perspective like which one is gonna be bigger so I'm liking that how that is placed there so we're going to find a sentiment that we want to stamp and I think I'm drawn to um, just waving hello we just stamp it right here it kind of fits perfectly or we can put let's ride this wave together I like that one too. Um, or your swell. They're all like really awesome little sentiments like do that, happy birthday, bro, thankful for the ocean and you. That one's cute too. But I like how this one fits here, just waving hello. And it allows you to use the card for many different things. So I like to have a bunch of, you know, general cards on hand and I leave the insides blank and then I can customize them as I need them. So I'm just going to tape this in place so I know where to stamp our sentiment. But I'm not going to attach this yet because I don't want it to get um, I don't want it to get any ink transfer from the misty. but I'm just placing them. So I know where to place the sentiment. 
So I'm gonna grab my Misty again. Lifesaver. Try to keep all the magnets <laughs> separate so they don't fight. So we'll put this like that and figure out what I did with my grid. Okay. We're going in, we're going in with just by our, <laughs> by our eyes, we're eyeing it. So we're going to do just waving hello. I'm going to stamp it. Make sure that it's <laughs> put it down just a little bit and make sure that when I put it on the window that it's lining up with the line because my grid has oh no it's here Whew, you guys <laughs> I am um, <laughs> dependent on the grid because <laughs> it would just I don't want to say I have OCD, but it would just bother me if it's not straight. I don't know. Like, it doesn't really matter that much. But... Put this in place, with... leaving some room with our clouds. I like to, um, when I add scenes, I like to kind of get let them cut off so it looks like a continuous pattern. But today it's just giving us a little trouble. Put our little grid down. I'm trying to keep these magnets separate. Have you guys done that where the magnets like get caught in your fingers? It is not. It is definitely not a fun time. So we'll add our little sentiment here. Just waving hello. Move this out of the way. And then we're gonna stamp it with our VersaFine onyx black ink sorry it's off camera again you guys I'm not a fan of when you are when I am uh, getting setting up for the live and Facebook is telling me on my phone oh this is where everything is and then it's actually not <laughs> And then by the time I'm live, I don't want to move it because I don't want anyone to get um, motion sickness. <laughs> so we're going to add some ink to our sentiment. And you could also get fun with this too. You could um, heat set the background and then add some clear embossing powder so you get an embossed detail. But today I went a little bit... Um, I thought we would do two cards, so we're, at the time, I didn't think we'd have time to do all the little details. But I do love that the VersaMark, or the VersaFine ink, comes on really crisp. So we have <clears throat> our card almost all set, so I'm going to remove the backing from the foam tape here. Moved it all, and then I'm just going to put it in place. Like that. And then we're going to place her like right there. Or maybe here. I'm not a surfer, so I'm not sure <laughs> where she would land. Like that. And then we're just going to cut off the edges of the clouds. And then I'm going to assemble the other card. And then we'll add our sequins together. Like that. I'm just cutting it off. So we got this one all set. So if we want to do the purple one, we're just going to die cut the orca. 
using the coordinating dies. Find them here. So again, I'm just gonna use my pliers to remove the internal dies. And I'm gonna put them in my little sequin bowl here to keep them safe for now. I like to store my um, dies on magnet strips when I can. And I also have um, like three frames that I put magnets in near my desk where I keep um, standalone dies. This one I'll probably tuck in um, uh, an Avery L sleeve with the stamp set. So they're all together. But I'm gonna keep them there for now so they're safe. So again, we're just gonna place it, I'm gonna take it off camera for a second, just so I get a good view when I'm placing the die. We're in the home stretch. Thank you guys. We're, we ran a little bit longer today, but I love showing off all these new goodies. Everything that we're using um, are all available in the shop. So if anything inspires you, you can definitely take a look. So we have our purple orca. Let's double check my work. Looks good. And I take this out, put it over here so it stays safe, hopefully. But it's funny, even no matter how messy my desk gets, no matter how crazy it gets in a crafter math, um, everything always ends up finding its right, rightful place, which is fun. So we got our purple. Ooh, I do like the purple orca here. That. And we're gonna put this on some 3D foam tape as well. We won't need as much <laughs> scissors. Just cut it down to get into all these little spaces. Again, you probably don't need to go this crazy, but I have a problem with foam tape. <laughs> you just make sure that it's hidden enough so that no one can see it from the other side. And then this, we're just gonna trim without cutting my fingers off. <laughs> so there we go. And now we're gonna pick a little sentiment for this before we place it. <clears throat> um, let's see. If we put her, she's a her now, put her like that. <laughs> and then I think I'm gonna stamp get whale soon here. And then I'm gonna leave the top blank so I can add some more sequins, or later on I could add like a coordinating uh, word die if I feel like it. But I like how the get whale soon fits right here. So we'll put this sentiment back with that stamp set. Put this back in place. You could also totally just stamp this without the Misty, this stamping block, but when I'm so close to the home stretch, I like to just use my Misty so I know like if I don't get a perfect impression, I have another shot at it. Okay, so let's grab that like this. So she's gonna be like that. And we're gonna put 
get well soon here. <laughs> As I just knock everything over. <laughs> arrange this a little bit better so it's straight and I like how it um how it hugs the image like that okay so I'm going to take it off camera for a second just to make sure that it's straight put it up a little higher Sorry if I'm silent, I'm holding my breath to figure out. I think that's good there. So we'll stamp our sentiment. Deanna says that looks so good. Thank you. I'm glad we did the purple. I thought the purple would just test it out, but actually I'm liking it. And it is so me. Sure that's good. I think we did that on one shot, so that's good. I'm learning to leave good enough alone. It's like, okay, let's not risk it. It's perfect. We don't need to tempt. We don't need to tempt the fates. Now I just noticed I had some fingerprints on the edge here, so I'm just going to quickly remove them with our little brush. So again, that is why I love blended ink because it is so forgiving. So we have our background there and we're just gonna attach our little orca. Just removing the backing. It's always a fun job. <laughs> and I should have a little dish to put them in, but I just throw them down. And then every time I vacuum in here, I'm just shake my head at my past self. <laughs> So I think I'm liking like that. I'm just making sure that I'm happy with the placement before I apply pressure because this foam tape is pretty, pretty permanent. This one's going to kind of hang off the edge. That's okay. I can cut it if I um, need to add it in the mail. If not, we'll just leave it like this for now until it finds a recipient. So that's our two little cards that we created today. So I'm gonna add some sequins. And I wanna see if I have some, oh, I do, perfect. I like to add these clear, this clear sequins to water. If I can open up my, my blossom. I have one of those We Are Memory Keepers blossoms that hold everything together. So we're gonna add some sequins, and then I have just a mix here of random, random mix of picket fence sequins and Studio Catchia. So I just like to just put them on my desk and then. And see how they fall. We have lots of space up here. And then we'll add some sequins to this one. We're only going to add three to this one, I think. It's got a lot going on. Or maybe not. I love when they just fall into place. It's perfect. So I just kind of play around with them. That looks good to me. Move this over just a tiny bit. And I'm gonna glue them in place with some Studio Catcha glue and my embellishment wand. So now we have two <clears throat> summer themed cards, which is so fun. And we did some ink blending and some layered stamping and shockingly no coloring today, but it was so much fun to get out my inks and 
put different combinations together and kind of have to think outside of the box a little using supplies I have, which I think makes us, it's, I think it's a nice challenge to have when you're crafty, when you might not have everything you think you need and you kind of go through your stash and you're like, how can I make this work? How can I get crafty, no pun intended, <laughs> with what I have? And usually you can make it work. So I'm glad that it made me think outside the box a little bit today. That there. So that's going to dry clear so we don't have to worry too much about... Um, and this here. So if you do have the embellishment one and you start to notice the tip is not working as much as it should, they do have replacement tips, it's just wax. But I've had this one for a year and I think it's still pretty sticky. It's just my hands that are, oh, this has to be in the water. Oops. <laughs> Whoopsie. We'll just clean it up as best we can. It's gonna dry clear so no one will even know. Um, Deanna says, I colored all day yesterday. Fun, fun. Yes, so fun. Um, thanks, Margaret. Margaret says, thanks, great cards. So that is our two little cards that we created today using some Hero Arts goodies. Thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in. I know we went a little bit longer today, but I love hanging out with everyone. Um, and I will see you guys on Sunday. So have a great rest of the week. Bye, everyone.